has vouched for the BBI saying it will spell a paradigm shift to devolved units in the country. His sentiments were echoed by the chair of the Council of Governors, Wycliffe Oparanya. However, women rights lobbyists led by Jerotit Sei and Daisy Amdani have opposed the BBI report, instead calling for the full implementation of the constitution. It is apparent that the BBI spell goodies for devolution. And as such, devolution stakeholders have been all hailed the report, saying it is the cure they have been waiting for. The latest shot in the arm coming from Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalua. When you look at the BBI conversation, the issue of devolution is really the centerpiece. So we want to see how, even as we are talking of increasing resources uh, from 15% to 35%, how we can be part of that uh, conversation and the journey that will make Kenya a better place. Council of Governors Chairman and Kakamega Governor Weekly for Paranya reiterated the BBI will address a myriad of challenges currently dodging the devolved units. We are confident that the proposed constitutional amendment under the Building Bridges Initiative BBI will address some of these challenges and I have just mentioned the challenges and what we proposed to the BBI uh, report. And this, of course, when these challenges are addressed, we are very grateful that uh, devolution will be entrenched. The two were speaking at an ISPAC conference in Mombasa. Nonetheless, women rights activists have opposed the BBI report, saying it is a hoodwink and a scapegoat for not implementing the 2010 Constitution of Kenya in full. It was obviously a, a, a hoodwink to bring fundamental constitutional amendments specifically for the executive because they, we are talking about, there's all this talk about inclusivity, inclusion, dignifying the opposition and all that. So when you look at their idea of inclusion, it's about expanding the executive. Now, the expansion of the executive Give, putting, giving positions of prime minister, you know, um, big public office, doesn't tell us how this will foster inclusion. Because remember, Kenyans are more than just five tribes. They are over 48 different tribes in Kenya. So that doesn't tell us what the inclusion is. The women rights lobbyists dismissed the proposed creation of 47 new senatorial positions for women, saying it is not a guarantee for affirmative action. The opening of our statement recognizes that the 2010 constitution has actually accorded women bona fide citizenship status in this country. The former constitution did not. Women were not recognized as bona fide citizens. Women were not accorded equal rights as their male counterparts. The BBI proposals actually erode that fundamental principle. And we must remember that women are over half of the population of this country. So anything that does not address itself to, first of all, implementing the inclusion principle of the two thirds, in our opinion, should be rejected by that half, half, over half of the population that it seeks to exclude. The latest sentiments come even as the BBI train has taken a hold following the indefinite cancellation of the signatures collection exercise. Mariam Mocharu, TV47, Mombasa County.